Hello everyone and welcome to day one of the English Classic Sale. Uh, it was just yesterday that Fully Lit won the $2 million English Millennium plus a lovely added women bonus. He brought his career earnings to just over $1.3 million and he was purchased this time last year by Tracy and Bill Rook for $60,000. Uh, it's been an amazing sale for us, a lot of success, especially over the last three years, Adrian. Yeah, it certainly has been. been um, yeah, really, really good to us this sale. I guess we're very select here, aren't we, Gabe? Um, yeah, but I think with the selective nature of that, we've had a high strike rate of stakes winners to come out of what we've purchased and all at reasonable value. Um, Azula was probably one of the most recent stakes winners. Maurice Philly bought for 100000 a listed race of two. Uh, Kaizad won the Carbine Club for us. Uh, Sovereign Hill, a, a very impressive two-year-old winner on debut, was uh, favourite at one stage for the Millennium in, in, in Golden Slipper markets. Uh, so I've had a very high strike rate of, of horses and, and stakes horses, um, as I said, from, from very selective purchases each year. So we, we intend to follow that same strict buying process at this sale. Uh, so I think you take a lot of confidence that what we've uh, purchased, you can look very closely and, and look at confidence uh, that it's going to be a high percentage of, of stakes winners to come out of this sale for us. Yeah, amazing job, uh, team. I think uh, we've averaged 10 purchases the last three years. So that puts that in context. All those horses running at about something like 20% stakes horses to purchases, not runners. And a lot of those haven't even started yet, you know, the two-year-olds from last year. And, you know, it's a sale, I suppose, we really focus in on type here, trying to buy those good running horses um, the average of the sale here is, you know, around a hundred thousand dollar mark. So it's very viable. People can get in just like they did with, with fully lit with Bill and Tracy. Gate, our first purchase today. Well, she uh, is exactly what we come here to buy. The Zoo Sainfully from Widden. She's a particularly beautiful filly. She's feminine, which I always look for feminine fillies. Because one day she'll be a must. She's a September foal. She's by a lovely young stallion that stands at an amazing stud, which is Widden. Um, she's out of a novice single doubt mare. Uh, not a single doubt, stamps his progeny very well. They may not be the biggest horses, but they're robust and they're solid and they're strong. And this is exactly what this filly gives. He gives us strength, which is what we look for and what we saw yesterday in the Millennium when fully lit one. A beautiful, compact, lovely colt, strength all over him. And he just showed that on the racetrack the way he put the track on fire, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, and she's uh, that, that cross too, that Zoo Star. We've had so much luck with Zoo Star, but Zoo Star with reduced choice mares or daughters reduced to reduce choice runs at like 10% stakes winners to runners from a good sample, 76 runners, including a flea called North Star Lass, who was, of course, trained by Gay and Adrian. And you might say, you know, Zoo Sane, second season, um, what are we going to see from him? Well, uh, Adrian, we might have uh, a fully debuting there on Wednesday that you should all look out for. She is by Zoo saying it out of a granddaughter of Redoute's choice, just like this filly. Yeah, she is. Uh, she's a uh, half or three quarter sister, North Star Lass, I guess. So, uh, by Zoo saying, uh, she's trialed up very, very impressively. Um, yet to start, but she's already very short in the Golden Slipper market. So, uh, she's sharp. She, 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 she's sharp. So, hopefully, we can see a nice debut. So, that gave us a lot of confidence in the progeny of Zoo saying. Uh, it's good to have that insight and, I guess, experience, positive experience with the progeny, and, and we've certainly had that. Chateau Miravel, watch this space, one of the smartest two year old fillies in our stable. Claudia, how do we get involved in this filly? Uh, if you're interested in lot 116, we do have a couple of shares available. We'll be back tomorrow for day two and day three. So if you are interested in anything, please do give us a call.